It is the third annual general meeting of these distinguished members and other stakeholders of the Maritime Security Providers Association of Nigeria, MASPAN. The group highlights its role captured in promoting the interest of members serve as an internal regulator while providing support at the same time. As Maritime Security Providers, we cover different parts. A lot of us are CSOs, that's Company Security Officers, Port Facility Security Officers, and Ship Security Officers. So the three of us are actually the crux of everything here in one field or the other. But there are some that have all this. Now, 70% of Nigeria is water, 30% is land. 95% of our trade comes by sea. So all the money, most of the money we make in Nigeria is actually sea So if we do not protect that water, we lose everything. So our role is to ensure that security-wise, shipping and maritime as a whole moves fluently, easily, without any problems or hurdles on the way. So in that process, like uh, the president said, we have, mem we have members that are RSO, that's a recognized security organization. So those organizations ensure that vessels or ship or uh, facilities have protected ISPS wise. You know, you can't just come into the country, maybe bringing in uh, contraband goods and nobody is checking. Or you can't go to a facility and you're not sure if your vessel is safe. This high-profile general meeting saw representatives from NIMASA, NPA, DSS, the Nigerian Navy, among others, while addressing challenges they face including bunkery, piracy, theft, pollution, etc. More light was shed on a new form of threat of cyber insecurity too. As long as you use technology computer system and you connect to the internet, you are prone to attack from hackers. And you have to understand the system of a shipping company, they operate freight system where movement of their cargoes are being tracked. For example, uh, a container freight, you have your container on a ship moving from one destination to the other. You track the movements, you know which container is on, on, on a ship, you know when she's supposed to arrive, you know the content of this container. Now, imagine a hacker going into compromise on this system where this tracking facility just disappear and no longer functioning and then demand for money is more like kidnapping you know you can actually do that and the shipping company is running helter skelter because they are now operating with this technology without which they can't quickly revert back to manual so they need to get back online and in most cases you have two choices it's either you find a way to quickly take over take over control of your system or you comply with what the hackers are saying, and, and that is similar to someone kidnapping for ransom. Now for efficiency and success, mm. President of Ship Owners mm. Association of Nigeria says there is need for collaboration. It is required that we have a good collaboration with uh, MassPan, because um, when we are walking out there with our ships, you know, we need to ensure that the waters are secure, and uh, MassPan will be doing a great job you know, securing the waters, and we will also be able to, um, you know, it's good for business because we'll be able to deliver our services, you know, which is 90% of global trade. If there's anything that disrupts that trade, it will, it will dovetail, you know, and snowball into poverty, disease, and hardship for the, and it's, it, it hinders national development. On a final note, the immediate past president, while grateful for the opportunity to serve, shares lessons learned and the charge for the new executive. Uh, one is not really successful, except you have a succession plan. Um, you have failed as a leader if you exit and um, what you've put in place uh, goes south. They have the capacity and the competence to, uh, to do better than we did. Uh, they're going to follow uh, our roadmap and um, they're going to definitely do better than we did. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye.